Rated M for Mature. I'm Joe Metterer. I'm the creative director at Vigil Games. When we started working on Darksiders, we knew we wanted it to really feel epic. You play as War, one of the Four Horsemen. This war comes to Earth and wipes out humanity. Nobody really knows what he's doing there. Even he's not quite sure. What in heaven's name have you done? There's a conspiracy between heaven and hell. I answer the call. It all gets pinned on him, and he gets imprisoned for 100 years, and he's given the chance to come back to prove his innocence. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. It takes place on Earth. Now there's angels and demons all over the place, heaven and hell. It doesn't really get more epic than that. It's, it's good and evil, literally. War is just a complete badass. I mean, he has got his sword, the Chaos Eater, which is his primary weapon. In addition to that, you get guns, you get angelic weapons, you get demon weapons. You have a horn that you blow that knocks enemies back. Really, there's just a ton of different weapons that are at your disposal. And when all else fails, you know, picking up a car and just dropping it on a guy's head is pretty cool. Ruin is War's powerful supernatural steed. He's not a typical horse. You can summon him, unsummon him, and uh, you can fight from horseback. You can use your sword, you can use guns. You can uh, just trample smaller enemies. War's main adversaries in the game are the demons that serve as the army of the Destroyer, who's this mysterious enemy that's sort of surfaced. There's a band of angels that are also fighting the Destroyer, so he'll have to deal with the angels in addition to the demons as well. The cool thing about Darksiders is that it looks like the most crazy over-the-top combat game on the surface, but really at its core it's an adventure game. So we really merged these two elements together to, to create a new game. It's got like all the cinematic action of, of the best combat games with the, you know, just exploration, puzzle solving. Every character is huge, the weapons are huge, the monsters are huge. I think that lends itself to the big epic scope of the game.